Hi, folks. It's Liz Storia here, the host of the Tax Advisor and Business Coach Success Podcast. Uh, today, I'm recording a solo episode, and no, it's not going to be about accounting as I usually do, or you know, um, taxes. I'm going to talk about more one of my favorite sides, which is business. And um, as I was going through some videos today, I just got inspired to create this own video. Um, because as a YouTuber myself, I really enjoy watching other people's videos, but I think the most important thing why I got inspired is because I feel that sometimes we admire certain people um, and we take their advice and, and sometimes they never know, uh, you know, how much we really appreciate their, their, their time and the service. And, um, and there's a few uh, well-known uh, speakers and motivator, you know, uh, speakers as as they call them, uh, that really help uh, a very large percentage of entrepreneurs like myself and many of you who are listening to this or maybe watching, uh, you know, the video right now. And I feel like when we're a small business, and uh, it's important that we stay positive. And uh, we push forward even when sometimes, well, things are not working the way we hoping they were. Um, whether, you know, you're starting a business right now or you're just struggling or, you know, it's just been a difficult, uh, you know, uh, situation. Uh, especially for those who have been very successful and perhaps due to, uh, you know, a lot of changes uh, and, 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 and everything that's going on with our, you know, uh, generation and technology, uh, you might be affected or maybe not. Um, but either way, I, I just wanted to be part of the community as I feel that's what we are when we are able to offer all this, uh, you know, free content and, and information um, to the regular person out there. And I think the internet is nothing better than a, a great uh, media where we can connect and express our thoughts and our feelings and uh, help each other as, 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 again, as a large community. So I wanted you to um, please listen to the next uh, few minutes um, because like I said, um, I just felt that I wanted to do a few solo episodes about my business, uh, you know, uh, experience and how I feel that um, a lot of us, we can move forward, um, but sometimes we have what's called, well, we doubt ourselves. Um, and I think what's important that we move forward, uh, no matter what the obstacles, the circumstances, and things can be. Um, remember, nothing's static in life, so we must keep moving on. So just listen to this few minutes that I, I kind of touched me a lot and I want to let you know that as much as I admire Tony Robbins, uh, I'm not here, uh, you know, uh, I am endorsing him with no kickbacks, no, no, no type of uh, affiliations or anything. And, and I want to do this because this is my way of saying thank you uh, for him and so many other well-known speakers that are willing to give so much free content uh, to help society uh, make better future plans. So if you don't mind, stay with me in the next couple of minutes and let's just enjoy uh, this profound words that Tony is talking about. And one of his most recent, actually, I'm sharing my screen here so you, uh, for what well, some of you who are watching the video, if not, you can always go back and, and watch the entire video. Um, it's Tony Robbins, and he is with the, his channel. It's called Law of Attraction Coaching. And the video title is Tony Robbins, Don't Doubt Yourself, Powerful Motivational Speech. And um, I have to agree with it. So let's listen for the next few minutes because that's what really touched me, and, and I feel that. I needed to share this with the rest of my um, subscribers and followers. So let's go ahead and play his video here for a moment, please. Out of that gym. If you don't feel like you're confident, create it right now. It's not a thing that somebody gave you years ago. It's not something you missed out on. It's something you create by the way you speak, by the way you move, by the way you gesture. Control your mental focus. Remember, what you focus on is going to determine how you feel. So if you focus constantly on how things might not work out, 
and you look at in your brain all the possibilities of, well, what if this doesn't work? What if that doesn't happen? If that's your mental focus, of course you're going to lack confidence. Remember, we experience whatever we focus on. So, so if you're focusing on how things won't work, you're going to feel the pain that you associate with that. You're going to create that's a right. tremendous amount of doubt. And then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't get what you want. Mm -hmm. But when you expect and focus on one result, and you say, this is what it is. I'm going to accomplish this. I expect it. Immediately, your level of self-confidence goes up and you feel active immediately because your brain says, hey, if I do this, I can get some pleasure in my life. Does that make sense? Sure. That's the process we're talking about. We must control our focus. And one way to do it, of course, is to control our focus by controlling the questions we ask ourselves. Invariably, people who have a lot of doubt ask questions that create them. If you walk around in life believing that the only way you can feel confident is if you've already accomplished something, you've got a problem. You're limiting yourself to the number of things you can ever feel confident about and succeed. In other words, some people say, well, how can I be confident when I've never done it before? Listen, I feel confident in all kinds of things I've never done before. You say, well, that's because you're screwed up. Well, that's mm -hmm. not why it is. It's because so I have a belief system that says this, that if I can imagine it, I can achieve it. That's right. So if I can even imagine it, I know I can achieve it, and that allows me to be confident. Plus, I have a belief system that says, if I'm committed, there's always a way to make it work. And no matter how tough the situation is, if I don't know how to make it work, somebody else does, and I can get their help. That's so right. I come from that place, and that allows me to be confident. I know I can get help. I know if I'm committed, there's a way to do it. And I know that anything in the past, I've really been able to imagine accomplishing it. And finding a role model for it, I can accomplish it. Hey, listen, everything you do now, you once weren't good at. Everything you do now, there was a time when you had not done it. Why wait to get confident? Besides that, I know I can be confident about what I'm going to do because I know, look, if it doesn't work out, I'll learn something. And that makes me feel confident. Because that learning will allow me to be better in the future. In other words, set yourself up to be able to be confident. Again, I'm not suggesting you fool are you. I'm just telling you how to turn confidence on when you need it. And most of the time, you do need it. What's the potential of any given thing? I personally believe it absolutely is unlimited. None of us even come close to scratching our real potential. There are a lot of people who go out there and take a lot of action and still get lousy results. Why? Detail, action yeah. by itself is great, but it is not enough. Not enough. Success starts with our beliefs. That True. is the core of your performance. Think about it. See, the potential is there, but if for some reason you start out with some limiting beliefs, like, well, I don't have that much self-confidence anyway. Or I don't have a background, or I've never done this before, so I probably won't succeed anyway. If you have that belief, are you likely to tap a lot of your potential? Highly unlikely. Now, if you don't think you're going to succeed, you're not using much potential. Are you likely to take massive action? No. Hardly. Now, when you tap a little bit of potential, and you only take a little bit of action, what kind of results do you get? A little bit of results, if any. Now, what does that do to your brain and your beliefs? Your brain goes, see, I told you so. Now you have this reinforcing belief pattern because it points back to that experience. So what happens? You have even less belief. You have even less potential. You take even less action if that's possible. You get even worse results. And now you're truly locked into the downward spiral to the point where now you start looking at how can you do the very least to get by. That's called death ladder of personal success. The opposite is also true too. Sometimes people have an experience in life but for some reason, they get a result or something happens and they begin to absolutely believe, not just hope, but know that they can accomplish something. When that happens, whether it's because you changed your body or you had a new experience, you're going to tap a lot more potential when you know you're going to succeed, aren't you? And therefore, you're going to probably take a lot more action. Knowing you're going to succeed, you're inspired, you're going to go for it. When you take a lot of action and use a lot of your potential, what kind of results do you get? Usually great results. So again, I, I just wanted to share those few minutes with, like I said, my followers and subscribers. Um, I would love to hear your feedback and your comments. Um, like I said, I, as an entrepreneur myself, I believe that we need to stay motivated. I do believe very much in law of attraction. Um, it doesn't matter your religious background. Um, I think that in any religion, uh, God is God. Oh, uh, or sometimes we call the universe. Um, so I think the power is within ourselves to make changes and I practice what I preach. So I, I, I am a firm believer of first you need to uh, think, then you must feel, right? Um, which is your beliefs, 
and then you must take action. And if you can connect those three, then you will succeed in anything that you want in life. And that includes beyond just, you know, business, personal life, and, uh, you know, everything else that goes along with it. So anyhow, um, like I said, I am I'm just feel motivated doing this kind of, you know, videos uh, as a solo episodes and uh, beyond of what my expertise are. Um, but I just felt it was necessary and, and I hope you have enjoyed it. And like I said, uh, I would love to hear your feedback back and uh, let me know what, you know, your, 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 your thoughts are about this um, and what other contributions you might be able to do to help the community uh, stay positive, move forward, and no matter what the obstacles are, always believe in yourself. Don't doubt. Um, because the closer we get sometimes to seed, the harder it can become. Um, so don't give up. All right. I will see you in the next episode. So long and to your success. Bye-bye.